All right, we're looking at Google Forms, and in the previous um, videos, we looked at how to create Google Forms, how to name the form, and so forth, and then we looked at uh, various types of questions, and then we looked at something called response validation. How do we make sure our responses are valid? Um, in this um, video, I would like to uh, talk about how do you send out the form? How do you get it to people? So if you're looking at the form that you've created here, I'm in Google Forms right now, and I'm looking at the form. There's an obvious way that you would send this out, the send button. So let's click on send, and let's talk about what's going on here. So there's a couple of ways you could send. You could just send, first of all, uh, by email. You could send an email out to everybody, and then they would get the form in an email. Um, another way you could do that, and so and, and so you could fill in the to and the subject and so forth. Um, you can include the form in the email so that actually when the email pops up, they don't have to go to a website. It won't, there'll be a link and there won't be a link. It'll, the form will actually be in their email. But um, this one over here too, by the way, I'll skip this one for a second and come back to it. This one, you can embed the link into a web page. So if you're a business and you have a web page or if you have a personal web page, something like that, you can you can take this, you can copy this, what they call embedded HTML. And then you, if you, you have to know a little bit about web design, uh, but basically you can put this on your web page. Um, over here, you've got social media. You could post it right now on Facebook or on um, on Twitter. You could tweet it out. But this is where you're normally going to go is right here. And this is to get a link. OK, so and we can shorten the link if we want. I don't know why they don't just shorten it by default, but you could send this link out in many different ways. Um, if, for example, you're turning a survey in for your instructor and he wants a link to take the um, to complete the survey, this would be the link. If you want to email this to somebody, you can email it. You don't have to use this email. You can use this link and just and just uh, send that. You can text this to somebody. You can do lots of things with this link. So you can come down here and you can copy it or you could right click on it and choose copy it. So now that I've copied it, I can send that out now. Remember, you don't have to, um, I'm going to go ahead and close that. You don't have to um, send it to yourself to take it, okay? Some people think, oh, i got to take the, this, this survey myself. The only way to do it is to send it myself. No, that's not true. You can go here to preview, and you can actually complete the, um, the survey yourself with preview. So um, let me point this out, too, while I'm here. Um, this is where it shows if it's a required question or not. Remember, we talked about that earlier, that we could require that to be a question. Uh, we can make them take it, and you see the asterisk right here. Uh, what I mean by that is they have to answer that before they can submit it. So they would have to click here and, and provide an answer before it would take, um, um, it, it, before they could, uh, it would successfully submit. Okay. Um, and also, let me point this out while we're here. The um, this is just telling you that you are logged in right now. I'm logged in with this. Um, if if you were not logged into Google Form and you got the, this form from somebody, if uh, then it would just say log in here or log in to Google to save your um, your progress, so they could continue to save this. If um, but it's not required that they have a Google account to fill in a Google Form. Uh, all they have to do is uh, just fill in the form and it will come back to you. The re results will come back. So in the next um, video, we will look at how to um, get a look at our responses.